everybody. Thank you for joining us. This is Chris Paniotto with Virginia Rush and Rush Soccer. Thanks for joining us on our developmental conference call today. Our guest speaker is a friend of Rush. It's Laurent Papillon. He's a FIFA and a UEFA technical advisor. He's presented at the NSCA convention on tactical methods, a field session, uh, which was in 2015. He worked at the Red Bulls Ghana Academy. He has worked for the French Football Federation under Aimé Jacques and Gerard Houllier. He is the is the part of the UEFA and the French Football Federation coaching education and got his A equivalent at the age of 24, if I'm not mistaken. Laurent has also served as the head coach of the Solomon Islands for World Cup qualifying, and I believe he just missed out on the Gold Cup. And then he was also the assistant coach for China's women's national team that won a recent event in Foshan. He's a big friend of Rush. He's a great man, father and husband, and I'm proud to call him my friend. So over to my friend, Laurent, and present I'm on what makes a great coach. Hi to all of you. Can you hear me, everybody? Yes, so you can. I can start, my friend? Yes, whenever you're ready, mon ami. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. So I'm glad to speak uh, a second time to you guys because uh, my first topic was about golden age uh, for training kids, uh, if I remember well. And today uh, I want to share um, a topic, uh, how to be a great coach. It's a new one. Uh, uh, I didn't share this uh, topic before. Um, today and uh, it's open and to debate to debate uh, it's a coaching thinking so uh, like um, uh, Chris uh, shared with you I, I had to travel a lot for my job and I have worked in a, in a different federation in different continents in Europe uh, Asia Oceania Africa and North and South America and for your information, I'm not really uh, interested to go in Antarctica, so I will stop and I will continue to work in this uh, beautiful continent. So, uh, like uh, you can imagine, um, I'm passionate by my job and my mission around the world and uh, um, overseas. Uh, it's a great moment to share with a lot of coaches in the world. So, why I, I, I travel so much, uh, it's for discovering a lot of uh, different culture in soccer. And um, in this continent, I met a lot of uh, passionate people. So, I suppose I have plenty of passionate people uh, who listen to me today. So, what are the common points uh, between these coaches, you coaches, you uh, guys, and in these different countries? They are all passionate, so it's the first quality I think we need to have to be a great coach. So, so this passion is one of the best quality, I can say it's essential. And um, in the US, I met a lot of passionate people uh, on the field uh, with rush soccer, with NNACA, uh, but I can say the same in ice hockey because I was invited in, uh, in the Olympic Committee in uh, Colorado Springs uh, two years ago. And I share a lot of uh, things with other coaches, not, so, not only in soccer. So the big difference uh, with Europe and um, um, and us, for example, and uh, coaches uh, in training session. Hello? You still here, Laurent? I just okay. stopped the camera. I don't have your picture. Okay. So, um, I met a lot of passionate people on the field in, in US, in fact, and uh, we spoke about training session. So, and the big difference between uh, U.S. coaches and uh, European coaches is the duration of uh, our training session. So you 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 have uh, in fact uh, a famous uh, ability to to uh, organize successive training session for different people in the in a short time. So I can say uh, from me you are specials. Uh, in England they have the special one, and I'm lucky to 
because I met him in a few week, uh, a few weeks ago in France for a European League game. I had to organize for UEFA and, and UEFA, sorry. But in US, you are you have special coaches, so you can train two, three, four separate groups in one or two six hours. So it's amazing for me. Uh, you are not humans, <laughs> so your country created uh, an universal um, illness in business called uh, burnout, and uh, I know why. Uh, uh, in fact, it's, it's not only a joke because uh, we need energy in uh, our specific uh, training session, and energy is not uh, obtained by superficial batteries, for example. <laughs> and to train a, a group requests uh, a lot of qualities, and especially AEP, uh, attention, uh, energy, enthusiasm, and performance. So, do your players train non-stop two hours? without water break and recovering? I hope no. Uh, so in coaching the same. So for being a coach, you need so many qualities and so many things to think, to do before your performance in a training session and before games. It's the same uh, during uh, this training session and during the game and after as well. So. It's for me very important. One of the major mistakes uh, at the end of uh, the session is to say goodbye and see you. And an assess session is one of the best action to do with your group immediately after the session. So uh, you are satisfied or not. I uh, hope you will have a lot of string session where you can say well, uh, you are happy about uh, the content and uh, the, uh, the the improvement, the uh, commitment, and sometimes you are not happy, so it's very important to say this after the session. So you request action for the next event, you, you prepare your action plan, your objective, if your future results. So it's one of the best things, uh, best, uh, best uh, things I want to share with you about uh, uh, this important fact after a training session and after a game. Sometimes we, we forgot or we think it's not a good time to do it. So, and all the time we need to be like a music, uh, styring, uh, to be a driving uh, leader. I'm not sure about the good translation. Uh, it's about uh, the idea to be dynamic all the time and uh, reassuring, uh, to be exemplar as well. And you need to be accessible and uh, live the present moment. So when you are with kids, teenager or athletes, so you need to think uh, if you need to think about the next session, the next group to train, so my son and my daughter to to be picked up uh, during my session. Uh, I'm not here and now, and sometimes we need, we forgot uh, to to be uh, at the right place at the right moment and to be here and now, and. Uh, before starting the, the, the long qualities, long expertise, uh, know how and know how to do, uh, it, it was uh, important to say this uh, in uh, to the to all the attendees, because in fact uh, I can introduce that uh, the best way to uh, to be a great coach it it uh, started by. Uh, uh, a career of player. If you are uh, not injured and not so old, uh, you probably play soccer before. And to practice football, soccer uh, helps in learning. So for you, but for, as, as well for the players. So how to become an expert? Uh, because your expertise is uh, requested to to do this job. Uh, not easier to to to, to reply to this question uh, in in one uh, conference, but uh, your experience is essential. So you can start like me, younger. I was 16 when I I managed uh, my first kids group. Uh, it was uh, under eight, and hopefully I was not alone. Uh, a tutor gave me uh, roadmaps for each training session. I tried to avoid mistakes. My tutor sent me the, 
the first degree uh, to the first degree coaching certificate uh, training course very important when you are younger and I obtained a special agreement to attend to this course because uh, in France uh, only an adult could attend uh, to this kind of uh, training course and it was a great experience and uh, I received officially <laughs> this certificate uh, when I was uh, 18, uh, 18 only, only. And to continue this the process, uh, I think it's uh, one of the best action uh, I was lucky to, to do because uh, during my coaching education uh, um, in France, uh, we have eight level, eight, eight steps to reach uh, the famous uh, HAY certificate. Um, I have the, the possibility to, to train at the same time, so all the time I have to uh, to use the, the, the exercise exercise and games uh, I found in these training courses, and I can evaluate uh, the content of my training courses all the time in um, in, in this uh, training session. And during this period, I played and I trained uh, under eight and ten. 12, under 14, under 16, under 18, boys and girls, and adult teams as well. And the feedbacks received after each training courses in coaching, each games and each exercise, it's very interesting because um, you can um, make some mistakes and I think uh, it's very important to know that um, in your uh, career of coaching, you will make a lot of mistakes. Uh, sometimes you will f uh, find it. Sometimes you will uh, you you will not find it uh, like a mistake. And um, why I explain my personal route? It's for introducing uh, the importance of uh, your experience, the job. So we can start uh, younger. And my choice was my choice was to, uh, to be educated in coaching the same time I was coach, and I think it's a, a, a good start. And I have a great experience now, and I'm happy all the time to share my enthusiasm. Uh, um, a, a famous uh, writer, uh, Orson Welles, um, uh, written: uh, "Your experience is the sum of your mistakes." True. And I can say to you, uh, I made a lot of mistakes, and I hope I can do another ones in the future, <laughs> really. But be careful uh, in our job. The big problem, uh, if you do uh, a mistake twice, you are starting your, to lose your job. <laughs> so uh, for your first action uh, is to follow a certification process uh, and training courses for, for coaching for coaches, sorry, and best way to be a great coach. And football is, all, is improving all the time, so like our players, so as a leader, you need to improve yourself as well. So the big, the big topics uh, and the big uh, part of my topic is uh, qualities and talents, action to do when you are coach and to be a great coach. Um, at first, First, I think you need to be a good observer, a good listener, uh, a good communicator as well. Uh, communication in direction of your players, uh, in, com in direction of the parents of these players, uh, with your boards, uh, with your uh, potential partners, or uh, the partners formed by uh, your board, and uh, sometimes with me. Yeah, it depends on the level of your your your, your team to train. Um, uh, I'm very interested by the meeting and uh, the communication with the parents. So I think in US is very important and it's more important than in the other countries because parents can decide uh, um, to change their kids for 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 different reasons. Uh, and sometimes it, they are unhappy about our behavior, they are unhappy about our um, results, so I know that they can change uh, the, the way for their kids like this and to, to go in another club. 
Um, but sometimes it's very important to understand that um, uh, a very good communication, a, a partnership with the parents is uh, uh, essential as well. And you need to explain what is your job, what is your, um, your means to, to reach uh, the level you want to reach with the team, and to explain your difficulties, your the role of the parents, and uh, I know that Chris uh, is aware about this uh, important fact. So when I said you need to be a good communicator, it's um, we we are in a in a in a job where communication is very very important. So um, and if we don't want to fight with the parents after a game or during the season, I think you need to create some uh, uh, opportunities, some events with them to know them. Uh, uh, a little bit more, and to know uh, also as the, 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 the parents of your players, uh, to, to know their life in their different um, uh, in their respective houses. So, in the big uh, talent and qualities, we need to know for to, to us in this job is to to be a creator of results, to be a founder of solution. Uh, it's simple, but uh, uh, sometimes we are making some problems and we forgot forgot to organize uh, uh, the process to have uh, some solution or to to, to, to create uh, initiative in this uh, training session or in our um, tactical uh, disposal so um, our job is to f to optimize um, our players individually and collective uh, and uh, for the team and to create a teammate. So I think uh, because I met a lot of people uh, around the world uh, that uh, the best one is, the great one is the strategist one. So uh, I invite you to, 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 to see a, a movie uh, called The Strategy. Uh, I think it's strategist. Men, uh, a, f a film uh, made by Bennett Miller about uh, the the coach life of uh, uh, an NFL uh, coach uh, played by the Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. And uh, this one is one of the example of uh, how to optimize your optimize sorry your players and to have a strategy and to follow this strategy uh, uh, until the, the success. Um, the great coach define objective and build uh, this objective uh, with the players and his athletes and uh, an action plan. Action plan, sorry. Uh, define uh, a game plan, um, a playbook for each game, and um, a great coach have a clear vision, a clear road. And, and uh, define clear means to to reach uh, the level or the the, the steps you need to reach. And for this, we need to evaluate uh, our own actions. Uh, we need to evaluate uh, our staff. Staff. Sometimes you have only a captain, so it's very important to use this um, uh, this guy. Uh, because uh, it can help you, and um, you need to evaluate uh, player actions and the results of your, your player as well. Yeah, well. Um, in this job, we need to anticipate all the time, and we need to adjust to fit. Uh, we need to have ability to to adapt and uh, to changes. And I think it's one of the uh, qualities a lot of people does, uh, don't have. And sometimes is uh, our mistakes is because the referee is not uh, good, uh, the players are not good, and uh, our job is to optimize the level of our players. So if they are not good, it's because we are not good. It's it's simple. So uh, I, I think I, I said this uh, in the last um, conference call or developmental uh, conference with uh, Rush Virginia. Uh, because um, our boys and girls are uh, really the same in Africa, <laughs> in in Asia, in Europe, and in US. So they have uh, hearts, they have legs, they have um, uh, skills, and uh, uh, a brain. 
and our job is to help them to to, to improve all the time. So. Um, this job is very difficult because we need to resist all the time. Sometimes uh, we have our own breaks. Sometimes parents or, or boards can deliver to you another, another one. And um, it's uh, like um, you are a player in your own team. What kind of player do you want in your team? So if uh, when it's difficult, you are lost or crying or uh, speaking really, really loudly to, to the people because you're unhappy. I'm not sure it's the best solution to have uh, another result. So uh, we need to be prepared for any scenario and um, adapt uh, itself uh, to the con constraints and to the environment. So And sometimes we, we forgot this. Uh, especially when we are on a professional level uh, for in a professional club, for example. Um, the, the, the quality I, I think we need to, uh, to, to add is to uh, assess, to evaluate uh, your session, your games, your players, and uh, umpiring, umpiring, sorry. Uh, uh, one of the best qualities of the grid code who obtain a lot of success is uh, in the fact of encouraging your athletes all the time. Yeah, of course, we need to respect them, but the, the, um, the coaching uh, action, uh, like uh, encouraging, is the most important action uh, of our job. So we have a lot, of, have people a lot of people who have great skills, skills and competencies. And competencies. And a few of them forgot to encourage, to congratulate uh, every, every step reached. And I think, I think it's the most important thing. So uh, uh, it's a big difference between a great coach and the others. So in your uh, communication, in your uh, action, in your uh, uh, coaching uh, job, to suggest initiatives uh, like uh, shots on goals, dribblings uh, in different uh, areas on the field, and not when you are defender, but, defender, but uh, uh, to uh, encourage, encourage uh, creator players to encourage, encourage uh, the people uh, to try, try and try, try again and try again. And again. again. Uh, I don't like the verb try. I hope you he could you hear me again. Because yeah. uh, I have a message that the, the song was cut, so I hope it's okay. It's okay for you. Yes, we can hear you, Laurent. Can you hear Laurent, me? Okay. Hear me? Okay. Sorry. Um, and after the the, the, the most important uh, topic uh, uh, in uh, encouraging, uh, I can say to all of you that the most important is to deliver confidence. And because I'm confident at first and uh, like we share our stress in our communication if you are scared and we, if you, uh, we have some dots to, to, to win this game uh, we deliver these dots uh, dot to, to, to our players so to deliver confidence is one of the, the best <laughs> and uh, the best qualities a great coach need to have um, I'm suggesting initiative uh, all the time in my speech, in my train session, in my games, uh, I have the courage to believe uh, we can win uh, a strong game. So, um, uh, uh, the, uh, next the next step is to, 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 to understand, to understand our, our beliefs. beliefs. So, so, we are in capacity to do something or not. So, it's like uh, the, the the, the, um, the famous phrase uh, used by uh, 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 Swiss climber uh, uh, the uh, impossible uh, retreats behind uh, the one who advances. And it's the same for our job. So if we believe our players are not so good, they, they will be at the level we, we, we think they are. So if we want to see them to improve, if we want to see them to, uh, to do the best things, uh, we need to, to change our beliefs. And and sometimes 
uh, we believe the best player in the other team because they bet they beat us and um, there is a big action to do um, in our uh, own formation uh, in our own uh, education in our uh, uh, way to think because uh, the beliefs can be a break like a belief can uh, um, show is a way show show you show is a way so um, for understanding these uh, these beliefs, uh, it's like, like uh, when I was uh, head coach in, uh, in Solomon Islands in Oceania for uh, the National Cup. It was in 2012. Um, the team uh, I have to train, um, I have to play, I had to play against New Zealand. New Zealand is a team who usually beat every. Uh, National teams uh, seven or eight nils, and uh, eight nils. Sorry, and um, I change everything in my speech, everything in my preparation during one month to explain that it's possible to beat a Daisy's team. And uh, it was a long process. I cannot share this process uh, in a short time like this. But uh, I tried. Uh, I change their beliefs about their performance against a kind of team uh, stronger than them and uh, we obtained a draw it was a 1-1 and uh, at the end of the game uh, my confidence was so stronger and the confidence of the player was so stronger we can played uh, we can play the, against uh, another team uh, I was sure that we will beat uh, the team and uh, it's very important to understand that the beliefs can be a break or uh, can help you to go faster. So, and uh, a great coach uh, in, in um, respect uh, as well uh, is vital needs. And uh, vital needs, uh, I can introduce that uh, in US uh, because uh, I train a lot in US uh, since 2012 uh, for. Um, uh, training camps or uh, training session with Rush, for example, and um, there is a lot of training sessions. There is a lot of people to train. It's a long day of training, and uh, you drink when you think to drink a little bit, and uh, your dinner will be uh, around 10:30. So. Um, it's uh, a very long day uh, uh, for us and uh, you are uh, completely tired so uh, and you don't respect your body you don't respect your vital needs like uh, drinking and heating and, and, and I think it's uh, something not to change because uh, I cannot say uh, I bring some solution I can say to you uh, it's very important to to understand that uh, a car for for going forward needs gasoline, and we are we are a little bit like uh, a car. Sometimes we need uh, um, gasoline for going forward. So and uh, we need to to understand that we have um, four pillars in our um, our life, uh, four pillars to respect and. And to find a balance between uh, these four pillars is your life in with your family, it's your life uh, in your uh, in your job, your professional uh, sector, uh, your social uh, pillar, and your personal pillar. And uh, I remarked uh, in in going in uh, a, lot, a lot of times in US that uh, sometimes there is an unbalance. It's not uh, really. Uh, the good word to, to, to explain the situation but uh, we need to find a balance between these four pillars and if we don't respect uh, ourselves so sometimes we create some uh, big problems and big problems it's uh, I can say it, um, it's translating like uh, I don't have a good communication with my, my kids I don't have a good communication with my players I don't have a good communication with my with the parents because I'm tired for example and uh, to respect your vital needs it's simple uh, you cannot play golf when you are a soccer head coach 
uh, when you train kids or teenagers uh, like in rush community because you have a lot of uh, people to train. You are not lucky like a professional uh, head coach uh, in Europe who has only two sessions a day and sometimes only one session uh, during uh, one hour and he has time, he has, he has time to go uh, to play golf. In your, in your case you cannot. So I don't say to you play golf and find solution to, to find four hours to play golf but sometimes you need only uh, 20 minutes of rest, um, uh, uh, 20 minutes of running uh, sometimes to, 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 to have this uh, balance between these four pillars you need to, uh, to, to for me it's climbing, uh, for another one it's fishing, uh, for another one it's stretching, it's to do yoga and to do something uh, good for, for, for me and for you and for your body and for your brain. So. This balance between the four pillars is one of the um, the action to do in in uh, in the future uh, in your future um, career because uh, I think it's one of the uh, the action we we forgot to do or we think it's in it's impossible to do and um, I recommend to you a. a, a a book uh, called uh, Act to or Be Act Upon. It's uh, written by Thierry Schneider, a, a Swiss guy, and um, he can uh, help you to understand my my think of the day about the power of confidence, of beliefs, uh, present moment, and visualization. Uh, visualization is uh, something uh, we share in, in a few minutes. Uh, power of your emotion and power of your body. So um, you need to understand that for for being a good communicator, uh, we need to, to to work in our body with our body. So when I speak, uh, you can see me, but uh, my hands are moving, my my arms as well, my body is uh, communicating. So. And if I'm tired, I'm uh, at the back of my seat, and uh, the sound is not perfect. So, uh, and it's the same when we have to communicate something, uh, an instruction to our players, uh, and uh, a speech to to to, to attend this. So, um, there is some keys inside this book. So I will uh, put in uh, in my uh, PowerPoint presentation. Uh, post uh, conf uh, conference call uh, to you it's uh, one uh, of uh, advices I can deliver to you about this um, this part of respecting your vital needs so um, I spoke a lot so <laughs> I want to deliver some advices uh, about the importance of questioning uh, grid coach is all the time uh, questioning himself uh, in fact, when you are coach, the the big big difficulties is not to to uh, to reply to question to uh, to reply to uh, some questions, but to 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 ask the good questions. It's um, our action, uh, uh, principal action, uh, essential action uh, when we are coach. So to be a great coach, it's the one who, who asks a good question to his player. For finding solution on the field uh, when you you make some uh, problems on the uh, on uh, one exercise or in one game, you need to find solution. So you need all the time to re to request to ask some question and some good question. And uh, it's very difficult to ask the good question. So um, I learned it when I was uh, 40, I think. Uh, and in fact, the most important thing is, is uh, in this fact and sometimes we need to bring some replies uh, we need to, 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 to bring some multiple answers um, uh, and sometimes I need to ask me at, uh, at first the good questions and to understand that uh, I'm not perfect and uh, if I want to if I request to the users something sometimes it's good to, to request uh, at first uh, to you um, 
questioning like uh, when you are winning, why, why we are winning, why today we won, and uh, what is the difference between uh, the opponent and us. And I think it's a good questioning. Is uh, sometimes uh, we are asking, we are questioning um, when we are losing, when we lost. And I think it's a big mistake. And I think um, we we need to to change this uh, action. It's better to find uh, why we are better, where we were better and where we need to improve again, like we, we, we are in advance uh, than the others. And I think the good coach is in this thinking. So, um, successes bring successes, so it's better to do it when you, you, you won a game and, and to have this action. So, uh, I would tend, uh, uh, I obtained a lot of successes during my uh, young coaching career. Uh, I was reading uh, some uh, n uh, notes books um, about my, my first years uh, when I was coaching and uh, I didn't obtain a lot of defeats in fact, And but the ones uh, obtained uh, were automatically be transformed in success because we need to use this uh, defeat uh, for having uh, the next success. And the good, the great coach is the one who is doing all the time this and uh, is building his new successes, new success. And uh, we need to learn from our mistakes, so like uh, from our defeats, or failure, or unsatisfactory results, more exactly, because I don't like the 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 the, 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 the word failure, the the, the defeats uh, word. I, I prefer to say unsatisfactory result. And our action is to build the satisfactory result. So, so uh, but at the end of the game, we have a result. So we need to understand that uh, in soccer we have all the time results, unsatisfactory uh, results or satisfactory results. So why um, why does um, I observe when I lost, uh, which warning I didn't respect? So I made a lot of mistakes uh, in my career, and I hope I will make a lot of mistakes. Uh, in my future because uh, you learn and we learn about these mistakes so and sometimes we we identify some uh, warnings and we, we we like we can hide these uh, warnings we continue to go forward and some sometimes uh, life br brought uh, brings uh, bring sorry uh, some uh, warning like this if you are a good uh, observer you can uh, have this warning all the time in your life, of, in, in your career of, uh, of coaching. So we need to respect this fact and to identify this fact. So um, I, I want uh, to share another uh, um, another experience with the Salomon Islands uh, Federation. Uh, in, in 2012, when we play the National Cup, we obtained the, draw, uh, the, the right we were allowed to go in the last uh, uh, final four for the last round of uh, Brazil uh, World Cup qualifiers. And uh, um, after the, the, the success to go in this phase, um, I, lost, uh, I lost people in my technical staff. Uh, uh, we lost a lot of means for going forward. And, the, the Solomon Islands, uh, the federation, this federation is really poor, and um, and uh, I try to to change my my um, my uh, action uh, and say to the players, guys, uh, we don't care about the means. We are in this uh, phase. We need to go forward, and we don't need to think about money. We don't need to think about uh, every problems we had during this phase, and it was a mistake because uh, you cannot uh, manage uh, 25 players with only two people, for example, uh, in your technical staff, or you cannot uh, 
uh, go forward when you don't have really uh, uh, financial support uh, in, in this case. So it was a mistake to think uh, we can obtain success uh, without uh, this uh, important means. So um, your, your, your action, your, your quality of observer can help you to, to say uh, and to say no when it's, it's necessary to say no to your boards or to your to your players who request as well a lot of times uh, new new things uh, uh, new tournament new trips uh, and uh, sometimes we need to understand that uh, we are making our own mistakes so. Uh, in our uh, in another advice uh, advice I want to share with you is to obtain uh, a consensus with your players when you are building your objectives to reach and like uh, the life inside the group with your own rules but uh, created by uh, build uh, built by uh, your players uh, you can add plans uh, and technical stuff if you have uh, uh, boards and people uh, um, uh, will help you and um, it's it's very important to obtain this consensus and sometimes we are deciding everything and we like we we order to do like this and sometimes it's better you will have better results if you you, you build this uh, consensus for, for your objective, action plan, and and uh, it's uh, your your role since inside the game, inside the team, the, in your teammate. Um, I want to share another things uh, before finishing uh, about uh, the importance of visualization before acting. It's one of the key uh, shared in the book uh, I presented. Um, it's an important power. Uh, important power like uh, when you are in, a, in, a, in on the field with a, a ball and you decide to, to deliver a long pass to a, a partner um, at the opposite side of the field. Um, this action of visualization before kicking, before shooting is very important. If you do it 10 times, if I prepare my brain uh, how to put my feet, how to, to shoot, the, uh, how to kick the ball, uh, with parts of the ball, uh, where I put my my, my second leg uh, for kicking. Uh, it's an effort of visualization where we can obtain success 10 times. If you are preparing your brain by visualization uh, in this important uh, technique action like deliver a long pass. It's exactly the same when we are uh, we are uh, preparing um, um, a season, uh, a group. It's very important to uh, to understand that uh, visualization is to know where we are, where we want to go, and uh, sometimes we forget this and. Uh, I want to add this uh, important uh, thing in, in, in this uh, speech of the day. So I'm a little bit lost with one paper I prepared. Um, so excuse me, uh, beg your pardon. So uh, in closing, so our job is different than uh, the manager in a professional team. He needs to manage his technical staff. You are often uh, alone. Uh, it's a break. Uh, sometimes you need to do uh, everything. Uh, empowering uh, empowering uh, assistant coach uh, to find a student uh, who can help you or parents uh, Obliged to you to be a manager, uh, to manage them as well, and to give them action plan. Uh, it's very important. Uh, you are the boss. You are as a the guy who knows uh, soccer, and sometimes uh, if you have some people uh, who help you, support you, you need to deliver uh, uh, roadmaps. So and it's. An, something very important to do. Sometimes we forgot to do it. 
to be a great coach request request uh, skills uh, request uh, skills competencies experience and energy well, like I said to you in introduction so we can do this job uh, we can be a great coach it depends of your motivation your targets uh, in your life um, I will add uh, in this uh, important moment uh, in, con uh, in the conclusion about uh, the meetings you can have in your life. Uh, for me, it's, uh, it, it, help, it helps me to, to build my career, to, to make my career. I, I'm lucky. Uh, it, may, it helped me a lot. And um, to be a great coach, uh, obliged to you to be, a, uh, to be visionary to be demanding, to be requiring, uh, requiring uh, for having results. And because our job is uh, also uh, uh, every, if, is more difficult than to work in a, in a company where there is a result only at the end of the year. And we can say we are, we were good or not. And for us, we have a result to obtain every week. And in weeks we have a result, and we are happy and happy, uh, satisfied or satisfied or unsatisfied. And um, I want to conclude uh, with a, a, a real thinking I have uh, all the time with me. It's uh, uh, dream more, accept to dream. <laughs> it's uh, when, sometimes when we are looking at our balls, our feet. Uh, we forgot to dream. We forgot to, like, uh, uh, you dream to 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 write a book. It's like uh, when you want to 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 brush your teeth. You you take your your brush, you put uh, um, the product on the teeth on the brush, and you start. But what do you need for writing? It you need to take a page and to take a pen and to start with. Uh, with, uh, with a, a word, a sentence, and an ID. So um, what kind of dream you can have, I don't know. But if you want to go uh, to the moon, don't, ch don't change your target. In this career, uh, it's, uh, it's so long uh, we can work uh, when we are 60. So uh, it's a long process to be a great coach, but sometimes uh, when you make some mistakes in your calculation to go to the moon, you can you can be uh, uh, with the star in the sky. It's, it's another way, but it's great. Uh, it's great to be among stars. So uh, I spoke a lot. So I, I want to uh, to have some feedback and some question from you guys. So thanks for your attention. I hope that uh, the sun was good. Uh, I, I request, uh, I beg your pardon for my French accent, so I try to do my best to speak in your language, so I hope I will uh, understand your, your question. Hey Laurent, thank you very much, you did a, a wonderful job sharing there. Um, I know we've got a question from Steve, I'm going to, can you hear me Laurent? Yeah. I'm going to play the question for, from Steve, okay? Okay, okay. Lauren, thank you for being on the call. I hope you're well, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you for stressing the importance of coaches listening to understand their players. I also think it's important that as coaches, we can learn a great deal from listening to ourselves through a process of reflection. My question for you is, how important is it for a coach to understand how they're delivering their message and how the message is being received? Did you get that, Lauren? So I, I didn't understand the first part of the the, the, the comment, but uh, in fact, he, he would like to know uh, how to have a feedback from the players about uh, the message. Yeah, the the message was listening. The importance of listening to our athlete, our athletes cannot cannot be understated. He says. He said a good coach knows their players, and the players know the coach is invested in them emotionally. How yeah. important is it for the coach to understand how they're delivering the message and how the message is being received? So again, you, I think you touched on that about the body language and the words yeah. you use and say. So 
the question really becomes how how important is it you know for the coach to understand they're delivering the message and how it's being received but um, I can reply uh, simply uh, the most important thing in in communication like where you s we, we send the message to our players it's to 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 ask this question to you at first and to be at the place of like uh, uh, um, it's the empathy phase uh, you you are at the place of the player what kind of reply what kind of uh, emotion I can uh, feel if I receive this kind of message or question it's very important sometimes we forgot that we have kids or we have teenagers uh, girls and boy, uh, boys are different so sometimes we need to understand that uh, our message it's not only uh, the word we used it's only uh, how they can feel uh, how they can transform, how they can uh, understand our question. So sometimes it's good to 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 ask this question to you. If I am uh, 12, if I am uh, a girl, uh, how I can receive this message? And you can change the words, the tone, and uh, maybe your body language uh, about the next uh, the, the question you want to ask or the instruction you want to deliver and I think it's important uh, a good communication uh, uh, it's also to know your players to know uh, their real life and uh, why I say to you you need to share some events with parents with girls and boys of your teams uh, together is to learn about the life in in each uh, houses, in each uh, families. Sometimes you can speak to someone differently if you know how she can or he can, he could uh, um, understand or not my, my instruction. So uh, it's like a, a private uh, message to, uh, to all, of, all of them. Sometimes you can use uh, a, 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 a message uh, an instruction for everybody but sometimes it's very bad and very unproductive to, to send a message to someone uh, um, and you can ask her to, to, to you can speak about an, an error or a mistake and it's you who, who did this mistake and uh, like your message it's uh, to, to, to try to to find um, a responsible of this mistake. So uh, sometimes we need to understand that uh, what we send is not really the, the, the word used for, for sending our message, the content of our uh, instruction. Sometimes it's how they can uh, receive this message. So we need to, 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 be, to, to really understand that uh, sometimes we need to, to think before this kind of event of uh, instruction or message if I am at this place, at our place, what uh, what kind of uh, reply I can deliver? You know what I'm. Uh, yeah. do, do you understand what I mean? Absolutely. It's 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 a uh, uh, we are in the um, education process. Mm -hmm. It's uh, typically uh, communication, but uh, as we have uh, some people who understand only by words. Uh, or uh, it's auditive, I think, in English. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and people need to have the demonstration. It's completely, it's exactly the same. So the importance of our communication is, and to manage this good communication is to understand that we can hurt someone uh, when we we speak about uh, in front of all the people, and when we speak about one people. We can hurt someone uh, with our words used. So, and sometimes, if we have this thinking to do, to ask this question to me before sending this message, I can imagine uh, the result of my <laughs> action. So maybe I can change the word. Like maybe I can change the tone. Maybe I can change the the, the body language. You know what I mean? Yeah, brilliant. I think that's uh, very insightful there, Laurent. Okay. Um, I'm going to open up and see if there's any questions from others and then I will attempt to summarize what you very eloquently and lovely put on the steps of being a great coach. So, well, I will send you I will send you the, the oh, PowerPoint yeah. promised okay with picture and you can yeah. share it uh, to Absolutely. the attendees 
and uh, I'm sure I will find some uh, new qualities to, 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 to have for this kind of uh, topics, but uh, you know, it was easier for me to, to do it because it's like uh, you are looking behind you and... Um, and uh, Driving forward. I think we, we can, all, all the people who are attending to this uh, conference call can say the same. So uh, maybe it's reinforcing us to, to, to hear that uh, uh, we are in the good way <laughs> yeah. to be uh, to be the great coach. So you are all great coaches. So I I, I know uh, some of you, but uh, uh, this job is uh, is really um, fantastic. So we can say that we we do a fantastic job all the time, and uh, and don't don't forget that the mistake it's it's one of the things we we need to share and we need to do for being better. Absolutely. So, are there any questions for Laurent while we still have him? Laurent, I don't think there's questions. Nobody's typing in, but you know, I'm going to try and summarize in in a couple of minutes okay. what it is it takes to be a, a great coach. And from what I heard you say, um, okay. Number one, and not in any specific order, was look for the positives and look to optimize the level of your players. Exactly. The one was passion, respect, leadership, give advice, receive advice, and then of course accountability because we are reflecting on our sessions and we're thinking um, and you know they are some of the rush core values. And then was build consensus with the players and share your plan and dream big and act on the plan. Yeah. Energy, enthusiasm and a clear vision and always looking to improve ourselves, that mistakes were stepping stones for learning and we have to be flexible and we have to adapt when something's not going the way we thought it would. Very important on the list was knowing the players away from the sport. So for example, knowing the person. So if we can develop the person, it's easy to develop the player. And to understand why why is improvement is so low or so fast? Yeah, so to understand the, the learning process as well. Um, and our job, one of the main things I heard you say was our job is to deliver confidence. Um, and encouraging, encouraging. And the action is encouraging, deliver confidence. Yes, encouraging. And by, by encouraging, I deliver more confidence. Yes, so encouraging uh, by helping deliver, you know, encouraging which delivers confidence and then positive communication. Exactly. And then knowing and understanding it is a long process and you can dream as big as you want and you have a blank canvas. Uh, I cannot say it's a long process. You could be, you, you, you can be a great coach when you start mm -hmm. your career of coaching. So. It's how to, to, to stay a, a great coach all your life or uh, your, your career of coach, you know? Yeah, wonderful. I don't, know, I don't, want, I don't want to say you need to, to be uh, older to be a great coach. Yeah. You need to have experience to be uh, better. So yes. it, it, it's, 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 it's um, common sense. Uh, but you can, have the, you can have the skills and competencies when, when you started. So. Uh, yeah, you need to to uh, to uh, maintain this level of uh, performance all the time because it's to coach, to train its performance all the time. Wonderful. Now, any further questions for Laurent before we uh, wish him luck and congratulate him what he just accomplished with the Chinese women's national team and everything he's <laughs> done? Uh, Laurent, I don't think there's any questions on behalf of Rush Soccer. We want to. Okay. Thank you for being on the call and sharing your wisdom as usual. I would like to pass on, please pass on my regards to your lovely wife and daughter. And uh, next week, my friend, I will be in, in Italy and Switzerland. So maybe oh, okay. we'll connect together. Uh, yeah, for sure. I, I wish you well and I look forward to seeing you. And thank you for everything you're doing for the sport and improving. So. Thank you very much, uh, Chris, and I hope uh, all the people uh, uh, were uh, happy about uh, these topics and 
you can add uh, in your career a lot of qualities you found in your in your way to be a great coach. Thanks, coach.